Hey everyone, this is Dan from DHTV and today we're going to take an in-depth look at the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus iSight camera. Let's get started. Both the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus are using a very similar 8 megapixel camera, but it's been upgraded with a new image sensor, upgraded image processor, the ability to record twice the frame rate as the iPhone 5S, and a better slow motion feature. The new sensor uses focus pixels, which is Apple's name for on-sensor phase detection pixels. Basically what it does is allow for faster focus speeds and frame rates. Now on-sensor phase detection pixels are not necessarily a new technology. Many companies like Sony and Fuji have used them in cameras like the Alpha 6000 and the X-T1. Where this will be noticed most with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus camera is when you're taking video. Because you're getting faster focus speeds, your subjects will stay in focus as you're moving or as they're moving around in the video. The iPhone 6 is also equipped with digital image stabilization. Now this was used with the iPhone 5S, but if you choose to go with the iPhone 6 Plus, you're gonna get optical image stabilization. This allows the camera's image sensor to move and compensate for movement while you're recording or taking still photos. You'll also notice a sharper image in low light and smoother all around video. So if the camera is important to you, the iPhone 6 Plus Plus with optical image stabilization will probably push out a better result than the iPhone 6 with digital image stabilization. Now in terms of video specs, the camera shoots full 1080p video at 30 or 60 frames per second and in slow motion video you're going to be able to film at 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second. The panoramic mode will capture 43 pixels and has face, blink, and smile detection. Alongside that is HDR is being applied automatically which should help with shadows and prevent blown out light scenes. So in the end, if you're someone who takes a lot of photos with your mobile device, you're looking to upgrade or are looking to just purchase a phone that has a great camera, both the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are both great choices. However, if you're looking for my opinion, I would suggest getting the iPhone 6 Plus because it has the optical image stabilization, which is going to give you an all around better picture and video. You're also going to get a larger screen, which is always a plus when taking photos. Now, if you're going to upgrade from an iPhone 5S, upgrading to the iPhone 6 is not really that much of an upgrade. You will get the faster focus speeds and frame rates and things like that, but you're not going to get the optical image stabilization. You're still going to have the digital image stabilization, so the upgrade isn't that big. However, if you have an iPhone 5 or anything below that, the iPhone 6 will be a great upgrade for you, but still my opinion would be if you're really into photos to go with the iPhone 6 Plus. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, informational, useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. You can also check out my full rundown on the camera, my how-to video on how to use the iPhone 6 camera with all the features and everything that's built into it. So you can see in real time how it works and what you're gonna expect to get out of it. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. A lot more iPhone videos coming up in the very near future. Thanks again, I will see you in the next one.